Welcome to my guys TV. I have a brother of mine who's go by the name of Tails from the West Coast Rockers. Me and Tails has been friends quite a while, so me and him we're gonna go live and we're gonna talk about some you know some history and basically the evolution of breaking and where we see it going into the future into the Olympics. What's up Richie? Art of Freestyle. There it is. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, Tails? Good. Hey, brother. How's your day going? Pretty good. That's awesome, man. Um, everything is good. It was like it was crazy rainy. Now it's now it's warm. This weather is always like this, inconsistent, but can't go. Know, Life right? is good. <laughs> That's good. You know, Tails. It's always good. You know what I'm saying? Like when, like when I come across with you, because we have such a like a long history. Like when I was telling you in the car, mm -hmm. and I was interviewing you like back in '99. '99. Wow. So amazing to hear. 99, 2023, and me and you is still like, we have the same energy that we had like back then today, and it hasn't changed one bit. Always, bro. Because it's about the integrity and the authenticity, and it's like, we share the same energy. Right. You know, like, we always keep it real. Like, we ain't got no time for no drama, no stress. Like, we're, I feel like we're advanced beings. And we understand that. So it's like every time we see each other, it's like, yo, mm -hmm. that's dope, man. Her and it's always, man. And it's always been like that, you know? And I, I really respect that, though, from you because you you never change out of those out of those 23 years that I've known. You've always been the same person with me, though. Always, bro. Always. Dude. Like, there's no reason to be. I mean, you know what? Everyone's path and per uh, purpose is different. And no mind, so I just I lead by example. I just I maintain that integrity. Uh, Her Potter, thank you for the compliments. I appreciate that. But yeah, man, uh, bro, like you know, with you, like like it's always been good vibes. And you know, thank you for your like contribution and like what you're doing because no one's paying you to do this, but you take your time out to do this to like preserve our our culture. Yeah. So that, kudos to you for, for that. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Um... Tells so, so like tells can you um give us an update like what's going on with cyber yoga today <clears throat> so cyber yoga is um is the evolution from b-boy tales from west coast rockers um of course you know i was a b-boy but i feel like i can always mature into something else like um an artist so i don't want to just subject myself to just one thing Mm -hmm. As just like a b boy or like a battler, I really wanted to create something new and something different, and I wanted to leave an imprint in the world, and I really want to make a difference uh, in the culture, b boy wise, dance culture, uh, the wellness culture, yoga, all of it. So sab yoga is a fusion of different disciplines, of course, and the reason why I call it sab yoga because yeah. I feel like we're, we're the most advanced technology. We're the most we're the most advanced tech, right? So we're spiritual machines. So we're we're like biomechanical machines, but we maintain our our spirituality. And and you know, even more now going forward into the future, it's important to maintain your spirituality going into the tech space. So cyber oh, yeah. yoga breakdance evolution revolution and yoga is a base that buys it all together. So it's really about maintaining your spirituality and your essence going into the future and now. Cyber yoga, spiritual machines. <laughs> That's too crazy already though, bro. I love it. Appreciate that, bro. Bro, you know, I feel like things can always advance and I feel like the b-boying itself is so advanced itself, like the art form and the dance and the movement. But like, I feel like the mentality and, um, the gatekeeping of the scene is kind of primitive so it's like mm. we have to maintain moving forward in the future that means like even the music should be like futuristic even even like how 
how we conduct our lives as b-boys artists or dancers everything should be cutting edge and 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 it should be futuristic because like we're in the tech time so i feel like a lot of dancers are amazing movers but their mindset is still stuck in the 80s but we need to actually advance to the future not not saying all but like it's just this is what I see because hip hop itself, it's a it's a technology that's given to us, and and you know it's it's meant to actually evolve and advance over time. Hip hop is the only like technology that allows humanity to advance in so many different departments. So it's like the emceeing, the b-boying, the, you know, the b-boying, the knowledge, the graffiti, everything is so advanced. But that means that we have to catch up with the intellect as well. So not oh. dope moves, dope nineties and dope graph, but like what what we you know, what about our minds as like, you know, individuals, as human beings, as as fathers, brothers, sisters, whatever, mentors, we have to advance at the same time. That was deep though, bro. I like how you said that. Bro, like it's important, man. Like we're moving forward into twenty twenty I mean, like we're in twenty twenty three. And right now, you know, what's happening, like the most advanced tech right now is the AI. And it's and it's like happening, like it's 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 advancing so fast. So I feel like it's really important for us to really go within about our mental, physical, and spiritual upgrade because if we're not, the tech is gonna take over. So it's really about us empowering ourselves and you know, just making sure they're always focusing on the constant upgrade. Mm-hmm. Just constant constant upgrade. Not 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 downgrade, but like upgrade, you know? Right, it's, right, right. Bro, it's like you're actually preserving knowledge for the future and you're doing this and taking your time out. And bro, like you're a historian, you know, it's, it's, it's dope. So I feel like it's really important, you know, what you're doing, what I'm doing and others are, are you know, are just really focusing on upgrading the culture. Uh, not and, that's, and that was the main reason why I got you on here right now because I feel exactly what you're saying. I love back in the day but I want to give you some advanced technology for right now that you're going to use 20 years from now in the year 2035 or 2045 or whatever. I oh. want this video to be looked at and to be respected 20 more years from now. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Like, I, and, for me, like, when I first saw Breaking, to me, it was so advanced. It was so, like, at the next level of everything. And even now, like, like you know, like to this day, the b-boy hip hop dance and culture and b-boy is still the most, you know, the most advanced dance form. I just wish like the music would like say the same. So this is why I'm so keen to break into like, like the early breaks because that time period is what actually created, created the inception of like breaking. So back then it was like futuristic. It was like robots, yeah. everything was like very techno based and very machine based, but but it had this very like retro, like futuristic vibe. So that kind of like stuck with me of like, you know, listen to all the breaks, Obertron, whatever, Orbitron, like that's what kind of like almost indirectly inspired the concept of cyber yoga as well. Cause it's like cyber yoga is like futuristic breaking and yoga put together. That's what it is. You know what, um, that you said something that's amazing though, Tell. I remember when I seen Battle of the Year 95 and I seen the family versus, um, um, who was it? The right on my mind. Uh, with Thunder and them, their, their enemy squad, mm-hmm. right? When I seen Abraham Ibrahim come out and he started kicking his feet and throwing himself, to me, I thought he was already thinking futuristic because when he did the flares, he did the head spins and he took off his shoes and he put a shoe in each head, and he did. Nobody was doing flares, bro. No one with pumas on. No one was doing pumas that. On their hands, pumas on their hands. No, no one was doing that. And, and uh, this is this is like the beauty of like allowing things to be for what it is. Saying so because the 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 art form is meant to advance over time, like it's meant to like evolve. And so when there's gatekeepers saying, "Oh, well, you're not break dancing if you break like me," I like I disagree with it because everyone's purpose and path is different. Everyone is inspired by different things. So for me, I'm from the West Coast. I'm not from the Bronx. I'm not from New York. I break the way we break from out here. And so, of course, you know what? 
I was inspired by a lot of mentors, Easy Rock and Asia One, big ups to you both. But our reference was like style elements and and like going to like like German bass parties, going to techno parties, listening, listening, you know, uh listen to like like diverse styles of music. So that was my influence. Everything it was like house music, German bass, techno, whatever, yeah. type of breaks, but it's like everyone's path and purpose is different. So I'm going to break the way I break and move the way I move because it's what inspires me, you know? But still, you know, preserving the culture, but having like my own like identity. Of course, I'm not the best, but I always like maintained like my style and my essence. I'll agree with you because I remember we was all like that, all that drum and bass and, and like um, trip hop and all that stuff. I liked it because I knew it was another step um, forward. It was another, it was like another dip. The vibration was higher than basic, like just basic hip hop, like boom, Absolutely. boom. Absolutely. It made me want to be in those rooms. Absolutely. And you got to understand, bro, that the music is a frequency and it can take you places. So for me, I was like, first I was, you know, really inspired by all the, all the regular breaks, all the old school breaks, and then, yeah. but then listening to like drum and bass like made, made my mind like kind of think differently about the concepts of movement, whether it's aggressive or more, more zen. So, you know, it's like for, I don't know. It, I mean, for me, it's more about I keep my keep my mind open. <clears throat> Always a student, never a master. So I learn from everyone. Like I learn from Kenny. I learn from. Uh, Easy Rock, Asia, I learned from um, Iceman, I, you know, Little Caesar, like, I learned from everyone. Yeah. And I took the bits and pieces and kind of just formulated my own thing, but understanding that I wasn't really in my essence. So, of course, you know, like I say, you know, true to the game. And now I finally found my calling, which is Cyber Yoga, which is advanced version or like a uh, future version of breaking, in my opinion. Right. That's what it is. That's that's sweet though, bro. Thank you for sharing that. It tells I was watching the Survival of the Illest though, right? And and for me, that's probably one of my my best. That's probably one of my most funnest and favorite battles to watch, because Ground Zero, bro, like they wanted you guys heads, so bro. Right. And there was a lot of talking going on in that battle, though, bro. And the the energy in that gym was bananas. Yeah, it was amazing. Like I remember being at what the uh survival of the illness. It was in Miami or what? Rhode Island. It was when you guys teamed up with um you guys had some people, you guys had toys, you guys had ghosts, oh. and it was you, caveman. Oh. Well, I remember that. Wow. Bro, I've been to so many jams, so many battles, I kind of forgot. But yeah, that that was an amazing time because back then there was no social media. So when you got to see someone break, you had to see them in person. And exactly. you were lucky if someone magically recorded and put it on uh, VHS tip and then it magically got to you. So anywhere we would go, we would see like a whole nother tribe of movement and breaking. We're like, oh, wow, you know what? That's interesting how they break in different regions. Like it's different, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, it's almost kind of like different tribes of breaking. And, you know, so there was no social media. So to me, that was an amazing time to, like, go to a practice or a jam and battle because you didn't know who you was going to, like, battle or, like, you know, what you're going to face, you know? Mm -hmm. and the styles were, like, you know, completely different. So, yeah, it was, it was an amazing time. Yeah. yeah. Who, who would you say that you like today, Tell Is there anybody in particular that catches your eyes or a crew that you might like? I like... For me, I like the Ruggeds. Oh, the Ruggeds. I like you know what? Bro, that brother Lee from the Ruggeds. Oh, Lee is like, That's he is. Uh, the mindset that we're talking about, like advancing breaking. 2.0. Like, but he's like, you can tell that his, the way that he thinks, the way he bends his body, it's like, it's, it's advanced. He's very advanced because he has concepts. Of, he has concepts within concepts. And his movement of vocabulary is very advanced. And then, he, like, he's doing him. So he's not going to follow, oh, what the OGs are saying. No, he's just doing him. Of course, he had, you know, mentorship and, like, guidance 
from his crewmates, you know, older, but he's really doing him. And he's pushing the minds and the concept of what breaking can be. And like, I like that. concepts are just so advanced. You're like, I would have never thought of that. And this is where breaking is supposed to be. It's supposed to advance, not to be like stuck in a box. Like, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> when is the last time I've seen someone do a, a 2.0 six step? Like, what would, like, what would like a six step look if it was super like advanced? Like, no one's done anything advanced. I mean, I mean, maybe like, you know, Migas and um, other like footwork, you know, uh, technicians. But I'm talking about like, what is the next, like, what is the next stage of that? Like, what is it, what is it going to be? And so seeing Lee is like, wow, like, I never would have thought about these possibilities. How he moves, the concepts and the directions. It's amazing. And, and so I would say, yes, the rug is right now or like the cutting edge in my opinion. Oh, not to mention all the kids from Russia. Like, they're the big, big kids are like pushing the boundaries of breaking. And from Africa, too. Africa's on point as well. Don't even talk about Africa, bro. I see somebody in Africa, he did like a flare, air track. It was like he, he caught it. He did like a um, an air track, air track. And then when he caught it on his hand, he did a completely 360, though, so it was like an air track, one hand 360, but he did it in the dirt. It's amazing. In the dirt. And you know what? That, that's what that's what really, like, gets me is that these kids have so much passion and so much drive for it. There's no money, but they're willing to actually break on dirt and, like, concrete <laughs> just to do it because it's free. Like, you don't have to pay for that. Like, it's really about, you know, like, your drive and your focus and your and, – and your... bro, it's, it, it's incredible – what these kids are doing because uh there is no boundaries like no one's saying oh like you can't do it on the floor no like they're just doing it wrong like they're just right. on the on the ground on the on the dirt the grass it doesn't matter we have a uh, a question from show one like what's the question though throw it at us um you know what I like, though, about this, though, too? I know a lot of times people say Russia, you know, Russia's dope, you know, um, Europe is dope, but it's like Africa? I've seen some amazing stuff in the dirt, though, bro. Amazing stuff in the dirt. And it is just kind of like, once again, in a way, it's kind of like Africa. Africa kind of gets pushed into the dark, though, bro. It's like Africa's always been advanced in technology, gold, mathematics even with breaking even with breaking very advanced bro but they, want to put it, they want to push it to the side and give credit to these other nations africa's Africa. ill because ill because it shows you like they don't have you know like the dance studios and the money and whatever but you see them killing it not only in in b-boying but even in like tricking and like gymnastics like they're doing yeah. double back on the on the, yeah. on the dirt about it, and, like <laughs> is they're like they're training and they're like oh well we don't have a floor but we'll still train so it just shows you like i feel like the essence you could see where the essence comes from like in my opinion i feel like i feel like yeah like the essence is from pangea which is africa like the super continent and bro like you got to understand like it's already in us so we're downloading information and data that's already been in us for a long time so I'd even say that breaking itself is not nothing new. I feel like, you know, like Legis was saying, breaking has been around since since the dawn of time because it's a technology. So someone he said, is, I even said it thousands of years ago in fucking Africa. Bro, he wasn't he lying. Said, because, he said in 95. Legis wasn't lying because you're getting data and you're getting down. <laughs> where, where, do, where do downloads come from? Downloads right. come from the ether. Right. Like the Akashic right. Record. Means that right. everything stored in a cloud, if you will, and then someone is is open to you know what to actually get the idea, and then they're like, oh, I have an idea for this new move, which is an airflow or a flare or ninety, whatever. They're getting downloads and they're recreating something that's been done done since the dawn of time. Of course, mm -hmm. bro. like we're downloading data all the time. Look at look at all the uh, graph writers. Like they're downloading information and data in their minds, and they're actually transcribing it into the physical reality mm -hmm. not 
not really like understanding the power of what they're doing because they're getting downloads. This is like the MC, they're channeling information, spirituality, all of it, like everything. So I feel like we're not giving ourselves, uh, giving ourselves credit as like b-boys and dancers because we're channeling something so much more viable, so much more intelligent, so much more intellectual and, and, and like super powerful. And, and we just have to kind of like recognize that, that you know what, we're not just b-boys and dancers bro we're like gods in a sense because we're acting mm. to create out of nothing right you know what tells there is a question up for you right now if you want to Please. read it mm -hmm. you see it yeah uh where is it uh he asked if the inspiration comes oh to add a layer to my question do you feel that background and our surroundings can be advantage or disadvantage to people um that's a dope question well, he has, because the B-Boy's full-time job occurred and having different movements. Uh, that's a good point. Um, I, I would say to, uh, to answer her, he asked if inspiration comes from outside of breaking. Yes, inspiration comes from different things. So, like, I, like, I would say movement, like watching nature's or watching watching uh like machines or watching insects or whatever like we get ideas from everywhere to answer that question and to add a layer to my question do you feel that background and our surroundings can be an advantage or disadvantage i would say it depends on your mindset like look at the kids in africa like they're not stopping they're like oh we don't have a floor we don't have a studio we have a smooth floor we're going to still break on concrete Bro, I've seen um, B-Boys from like Mexico doing street shows on the raw concrete, doing air flares and hand hops and elbow chairs and 1.5 air flares on the concrete in the traffic. I honestly believe it's, it's all based like on the mindset of the B-Boy because they're gonna think, oh, well, nothing's gonna stop me because they have to drive. So I hope that answers like, no, like when it's, when it's the right mind frame, like nothing is gonna stop you. Right. Right, right, right. Hey, you know what's um, cool about that? The brother that just asked you, Herb Potter, mm -hmm. the question? Tells? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me and him, we used to be in Lunacy together, though. Like, he's one of the one of the founders of Lunacy Tribe. Oh, wow. Wow. That was my first, that was my first career I ever joined was Lunacy Tribe by the Oxnard. What? That's him. Wow, bro. Respect. Yeah, he was a dope b-boy, too, Tells, to be honest with you. During that time, that little dude, we used to call him Lil John. He was dope, bro. Lil John was dope. Wow, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. And and thanks for sharing that because it's important, man. You know what? Like, we got to give love, Uh, you know, love to the OGs, you know, outside of, you know, b-boying, breaking, like, everyone. Like, everyone, everyone needs their flowers, bro. Like, everyone, yeah. you know, Everyone has like, you know, um, contributed towards the scene. But at the same time, honestly, bro, like we need to like advance as like adults though, because we need to get like, like our business right, our education right, our healing right, like our healing, like our healing, because bro, like a lot of dancers have a lot of trauma and a lot of rage. So I know that I had that. So for me, breaking was like my outlet where I can go to be appreciated and loved and not judged and I, you know, I can upgrade. So it's about us not, not only like advancing as, as b-boys and dancers on the floor, but like as adults and like individuals, as human beings, like we need to be just as advanced outside mm -hmm. of breaking, just for, you know, not just for breaking, but like, you know, outside of it, you know, as a mm -hmm. human or a mentor or whatever, mother, daughter, whatever, we need to like evolve on all levels because now then will really be <laughs> there will really be gods because not not only, you know, are we advanced in breaking, but like, you know, other parts of our life. So it's like a right, right, right. 60 of just evolution. Evolution. Right. You know? So yeah, why I got you on here, yeah, little John though, bro. I remember I had went to Oxnard and I I seen them in the garage doing crickets. And like he was killing crickets though, bro. And then the uh, Lunacy used to be an all Filipino crew. I'm pretty sure you wow. might. So I was the first brother to get down like with Lunacy though, you know. So for me, it was 
That was before Zulu too. Mm -hmm. That's dope, man. That's amazing, bro. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we need to be like documenting everything and put it online, bro. Like, yeah. we're, we're in the era where we can use technology to actually like preserve our knowledge and like pass it forth and like, you know, go back and be like, wow, like, I remember, bro, like, I remember seeing you at Hank Lopez Center mm -hmm. with Stuntman mm -hmm. Bronx, like, <laughs> Crumbs, uh, bro, like, I was, like, like, I was around the scene where, like, it was, like, nothing into where it is now. Like, I remember, like, all the Benji era, the, the like, the abstract era, the style LMs, Easy Rock Age, all the beef with Black Eyed Peas and dancers, like, bro, I was there to, like, witness all of it. I was, all of it. and I had the footage, you got the footage, but it's like, like, we need to share all this. We have, you know? have to. I feel like we have to because I feel like it's our duty because nobody's really going to tell the story the way that me and you telling it, like, our stories, what we're sharing right now, it's so detailed that it's already advanced knowledge. The stories that we're sharing right now are new to everybody, so it's advanced knowledge for them. Absolutely. For people that are watching that because our stories is we can talk about the race we can talk about you know first time seeing ivan let me ask you the first time that you seen ivan what was it like the first, the first time ever seeing, seeing ivan. honestly the, the first time seeing ivan was like looking at a it was like experiencing a ghost because he, <laughs> ivan supernatural like because mm. for me ivan at the time was like a reference point of what's possible at the next level of like breaking kind of like and not only about style but more about the intensity behind his moves like it was so powerful that he would like generate energy and you would actually charge from him so this is what i'm talking about like no one is going into the depths of like breaking itself like mm -hmm. they touching like the surface level of like breaking in the movement but for me, seeing Ivan in person was like, he was like an anomaly, bro. He was like, mm. people I saw, I was like, oh my God, like he's so advanced physically and the energy that he would bring to people and the charge was something I've never even comprehended. And you know what, I'm, you know what? to this day, there is no one I know that has the same energy or like B-Boy that I know that has the same energy now. Like there was only one Ivan, you know, was, like there's only one Crumbs, only one like Remind, but Ivan just brought this energy. You're just like, what? Like he was superhuman. <laughs> Bro, he was at best, like physically, like he was so in tune. And it's like, I wish like scientists would like do data on him or do data on like B-Boying from a oh. whole new level because it's like, we're like undermining ourselves and say, oh yeah, they're just breaking. Or, you know, they're just doing hip hop, but not understanding how advanced the knowledge is, bro. It's yeah. advanced technology, bro. Like, it's super advanced. And we're not even, like, comprehending it because it's ourselves. But if we really was to, like, pull back and do research on it from a scientific level, bro, we, like, we'd be blown away. Right. Same thing with that same, um, that same answer that you gave, though, like, even for the times, like, how would you describe my mentality for those times? Because the shit that he was doing in 97 up, bro, like, I, I thought it was already 2020. Like, I was, like, bro. looking at it like, yo, when he pushed up, the first time that he pushed up with both of his hands together and he went to one straight up, he did that in 97. I didn't know what, I didn't know what it was. Bro, I, I recorded it. I recorded it, and it was just, like, it was like a UFO. Oh, just like like I looked up in the sky, like yo, what's that? I'm gonna say, uh, publish uh, measures. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate that. I'm gonna say, uh, remind is very tapped into his lineage. He's really mm -hmm. tapped because he's he's channeling something ancient. So, and 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 the only reason why I can uh, comprehend this is because I've done plant medicine, ayahuasca, the psilocybin, all of it helps me understand the depth of our culture and our heritage and that we're constantly getting downloads and we're not really understanding where the source is. So looking at Ramon, he's half Filipino and 
half Native American. I'm half Native American. So I understand what he's channeling. He's channeling so something ancient and he's like gusto about it. Like he's not afraid to be who, like who he really is. He's just downloading his, his like heritage and his knowledge and he's translating it to now. So he's very tapped mm -hmm. Donnie too, but I'm saying yeah. in specific about Remind is that you can feel there's something so deep about his movement um, and like his style that he's channeling his Native American, his Filipino, he's really channeling something and like he's about it. So for me, like the stuff I'm getting downloads from is very, it's ancient, like it's timely, okay. it's timely. So like when you see me, like everything has lines and geometry, but there's a there's an actual energy behind it. So I'm not just doing moves. Like everything is conscious. I'm thinking about every single line, geometry, the movement, how I do it, why I'm doing it, why I'm expressing it. What like, yeah. like bro, like it's so <laughs> intellectual, and uh, this is where we're going, you know. And so this is why people resonate with certain dancers because they understand the depth of their movement so mm -hmm. I'm all, all this very advanced bro like he's tapping into his heritage bro very simple yeah and i feel like, like you know like i feel like a lot of dancers now b-boys are now are just riding a rave honestly like just being straightforward a lot of b-boys aren't aren't really being themselves and they're only dancing dancing the way they're uh dancing now because they want to win battles versus them being themselves. Like, exactly. Yourself, like, bro, you break like you. Don't break like so-and-so because it's, oh, well, back in my era and my time, we used to break like this. No, he's not you. You're not him. You break the way you break because this is your timeline. Like, this is your purpose. This is how you're supposed to be breaking. This is your true expression. So right now you see how a lot of b-boys kind of look the same. They're writing the beat, the same thing just to be like relevant versus them being themselves. And so this is why all the reminds and the leaves and the crumbs and the little rocks and the energetics and the whatever, they stand out because they're being themselves. They're truly yeah. in their essence, bro. This is the reason why you're breaking. I'm not here to break for someone else. No, I'm here to break for myself. Like my breaking is my expression. It's where I go to vent and to be angry and to express and to create and to be accepted and to be known. Like, this is why I do it. I don't care what a judge thinks the way I'm breaking or the way I'm, I'm dressing. I'm not from your time. I'm not from your era. I'm cyber yoga. This is the way I move and this is the way I break mm -hmm. in my essence. That makes sense. So, dang, that was... <laughs> That's already too bro, deep. We're already burning the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not going surface. I go deep now. Like, bro, after, after all the, uh, like all the healing and and clarity that I understand, like, what's happening, bro, I I can't like sugarcoat anything. It's only honest from here. You know, like breaking has been like my mother, my father, my everything. So I'm gonna give like everything to it and and be honest about it because. Okay. I'm going to share. That's exactly how I feel, though, Tell I feel like just everything that you said, like, I'm putting 200% into it, not only 100%, because I feel like I owe it to myself for being around for so long, and I owe it to the culture that gives me energy every day that I wake up. Like, literally wake up, and, like, I play something that I really, like, I'll put on, like, Leaders of the new school, mm -hmm. just another case of that ETA. Mm -hmm. And just the energy off that that base, it's like, like you said, I'm downloading, You're like. Downloading, bro. Downloading like, like, like new Wi Fi to me, though. And I feel inspired every day to reach out to brothers like yourself and to continue this as a lifestyle and a journey to have these deep conversations because I want B boys and B girls. To really start thinking now, bro. You guys got phones in your hands. You guys are like, we didn't have that shit back in ninety five or ninety three. No YouTube. We didn't have no Instagram. We had no email. So we were still getting. We were still putting it down. Nothing, bro. Uh, Cho had some great questions. I'm sorry, Cho. I'm sorry, okay. brother. I'll get back to you. So, uh, uh, he said, uh, I really want to answer these people because there's a well. Uh, obviously, thank you. Uh, yeah. 
Do you feel like the majority of the boys have a hobby mentality? BS? Yes. Lifestyle mentality or what slows them down when it comes to evolution? I mean, I, I say hobby mentality. Yeah. Some of it's a hobby, bro. And you know what? It's okay. Like, I'm not here to judge anybody. That's their passion. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of great B-boys come and go. Mm -hmm. um, but the ones, you know, that are uh, still here now, still training and practicing, like, it's obvious. Like, we love it. Like, it's our lifestyle. Like, this is who we are. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a, a B-boy for life always. And you know what? It's what kept me out of getting locked up getting going to jail or like you know getting killed like breaking is always and this is why i'm so dedicated to the art and the dance yeah. taught me so much about myself as a human being as a man how to prove myself you know that i can learn how to do head spins i can learn air flares i can learn hand hops i can learn i can find my own style so it taught me so much about myself as an individual and like believing in myself that anybody can put their mind into it put their mind to something and then master it. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's a lifestyle, you know, it's not a hobby, bro. For me, it's like, it's my life. And I think about breaking all the time still, still training to this day, just like you, Mikey. Like I see you at the right. practice and we're always training, still practicing because we love it. We're not getting paid to do it. I mean, I, I I'm kind of like, you know, making uh, my movement uh, based around the practice that, you know, I can actually inspire and actually mentor people through my practice. Um, but yeah, like ultimately, like I love it. Uh, do you have any more questions? Such a great reminder. So my next question to you, Tells, I know that we was going to address it, but I want to ask you right now, like, do you feel in this current state that there is some racism within, within breaking? I would say yes, but it's not so obvious. It's very hidden. It's very hidden. And I think it's very unfortunate because that's the, the last place where racism should be. I know. Because I know out of all places. I mean, I myself have not had it head on, but I do feel and see it. See. And of course, we as humans are creatures of habits so of course if someone is racist and they're in the b-boying scene it's not going to magically just disappear i know uh, which which is unfortunate because hip-hop is a technology for like everyone so to answer your question yes uh there is racism but it's not so blatant like, right. yes not so blatant. Uh, it's more like talk it's more like little talk <laughs> yeah little talk or, or, or maybe there's certain little, little, little uh, sectors of the practice where it's like all one demographic or I another know. one. Oh. My crew was mixed with Mexican, white, Asian, black. Like I didn't care. I'm like, bro, if you're dope, a dope human being, and have a have a dope mentality and like dope moves, a dope style, yo, I'm gonna vibe with you. It's not about race for me, bro. Like yeah. all over the world, so I can go to a practice in Prague or in Russia or Spain. And someone would know me. Oh, your tales from California, or blah, blah blah. But yes, there is uh, racism, and that's unfortunate. Right, but we we always it's it's so small that like most of us don't even recognize. We don't recognize it. it. We don't recognize it. Yeah, because you're not first of all, you're not a person of color, so you don't really know unless you are when you when you feel it like beyond like just going out being in society and you know what that stare is like you know what that the little little gesture that people do or you know that that extra stare that you shouldn't get you know it's like being stared at longer than you should or or just there's a lot of aggression towards us when we get inside the circle because i had a lot of people try to dominate me too like on top you know and and I'm just, they're, they're coming at me like they're coming at me from the streets. And I'm like, that's not going to work, bro. No, 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 no. And see, yeah, I... You're not all lost, though, bro. You can't be wearing a vest, coming to the circle like you're from 18th Street. It's like, that doesn't work. It doesn't work, bro, because you... Because <laughs> you better be after the battle's over. Um, right. Well, we have a statement. It says, uh, is it due to ego, pride, label? What causes the racism? I would say it's taught. 
racism mm -hmm. is, taught, is taught as a as a kid like you're taught like for me i was raised uh it, you know i was in a home like love has no color like i was you know raised to you know love anybody uh love love any girl you know if she's black white asian it didn't matter like i loved her for who she was not not about her race like mm -hmm. to me bro like like it's it's primitive and this is what i'm talking about like <laughs> down to the elders and these conscious talks at these events like we should be talking about all these different things not just the battle or who's the best something like we're gonna like like we gotta understand that this is a technology it's it's a language and like every part needs to be cultivated like hey let's talk about the racism mm -hmm. you know uh, let's talk about oh trauma through dancing you know let's, let's talk, talk about, about eating better let's talk about taking vitamins let's talk about taking supplements let's talk about leadership like where's the leader like where like where is the real leaders in hip-hop like the real ones with like integrity like we're mm. the real that have like morality uh uh you know uh, uh consciousness um uh leaders like like where are they like where are they so this is why i felt like i had to like be one of the representatives by like leading by example that means like me you know owning my owning my shit basically you know just being like responsible being like a leader for the culture for myself you know putting out you know good energy good messages conscious messages you know talking to people helping them you know mentor them you know building people up not about like dissing people oh you're whack or this person or that or or or, or like like old beef i'm like where are those where are the leaders at? <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> yeah, Asia, dope. Props to Asia One for keeping it. But like, I'm talking about like, when, when leaders are here to preserve the culture and just bring like solutions, like Asia's doing it. Like she's doing a lot of, a lot of dope things. But I'm talking about, we need more leaders, dude. More leaders, mm -hmm. not, not OGs bitter about what happened in the past or this person didn't give them props or biting. Not this like primitive like high school, but like where are the real leaders at? <laughs> I understand that. I like, like we're not using the word privilege we're like, it's true. You know, we're like, bro, we're like elders now. So it's our responsibility to yes, of course be dope dancers, dope B boys and B girls, but like advance as like human beings as fathers and mothers and like Exactly. I feel exactly what you're saying though. We should be advancing the people that's under so they don't they don't keep making the same mistakes mm -hmm. that generations been making in the eighties, the nineties, and even the two thousands and the two thousand we need leaders. So this next generation, which is Tara and everybody else that's fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, that they have somebody in their own community to say, you know what, that's the standard. Like education is cool cool like having a career is cool it's dope bro you have to advance bro so someone cho one life said ask the question um maybe it's due to maturity everyone has to understand their role in the timeline there okay so basically i'm gonna go in deep right now maturity yes but people cannot mature until they truly start to start healing themselves start healing and that means everyone has trauma some way she perform from their childhood from their high school from their ex whatever and so for me i talk about this i've done like a lot of spiritual work a lot of uh plant medicine so like a lot of evolution and like facing my darkness and like understanding how much trauma and rage and pain i've had growing up and and the reason why i had to go to breaking because i grew up in a very dysfunctional home a very abusive home physically abusive so my way of like getting out of my own darkness and my own pain, I went to breaking. Breaking was like always there for me, but you gotta understand, you still have to do your own personal work. That means personal development. I don't care what it is. Everyone needs to do personal work about maturing as a person, uh, person letting go of old trauma, old pains or whatever it is, everyone holds it. So I know that I was holding on to a lot of trauma, a lot of rage lifetimes yeah. of, and i'm like okay i get it so now i gotta do my work and since i've done it, it it's been the most like rewarding uh experience ever because now i can check myself and say hey i have not matured in these different departments as a man as a father 
as a uh, whatever, I was not developed. I was very irresponsible, uh, not trustworthy, all these, like, all these things until I've done the work and I'm like, oh my God, I can always advance and operate in, in these different departments. So I've done the self work. And so if I, you know, can do it, then everyone else can do it. And this is why the scene isn't really growing because we have a lot of like immature, broken, hurt people in the scene, mm -hmm. dictating the scene and saying, oh, well, this is how, how it's supposed to be, but they're only coming and talking from their wounds and their trauma and not coming from their heart. It's coming from trauma yeah. and their own warped like perspective of their reality versus saying, you know what? I'm an adult, so I should be handling my, handling my business like this and yeah. yeah. defending myself and the culture. So a lot of people are still having really advanced as uh, adults. Okay. Kids, we have a lot of grown up kids, grown up men, men, but still kid-like, haven't really matured in so many different things in life, getting your, you know, mortgage and your business and your career and your healing and your upgrade. Like, bro, like we have to like advance on all levels. Right. And I'm the first to tell you, bro, like I was one of them. I was not on point. I was very damaged, very wounded, very uh, self-destructive, not loving myself, not working on myself. And when I, when I woke up, I'm like, okay, I get it. So now, I have a beautiful reference point of how to navigate forward in this reality. Wow. We have a lot of questions. Uh, that's the natural result of trauma. Bro, everyone has trauma, bro. Everyone is holding on to trauma. And the scary thing is that no one knows they're holding on to trauma. No one knows they have it. They have blind spots of like, oh, why do I feel this way when I'm around this person? Oh, because maybe that person triggered you because you have wounds from the past that you never really addressed. This is what I'm talking about. Like mm. we're getting one small part of our, our healing through dancing, but there's so many layers of like trauma that like a lot of uh, dancers are like holding on to. We have no idea, bro. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was the answer. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm going off. I'm just here to just, you know, I share my passion about healing yep. and this upgrade because essentially, you know. We talked about, we, we talked about like just having um, honest, open human communication because like I said, like I want this to be looked at and I want people to look at this as like the standard, like you're saying, like to have a new understanding of thinking like this is beyond just breaking. This is real human experiences that we have as people. And you're right, in order to become, and you're already an exceptional dancer, now you need to start healing. Bingo, bro. Bingo, bro. Like, before, I was always thinking about what I understood, too, is that a lot of my anger and my rage went into my breaking. Mm -hmm. A lot of anger and rage went into it, but not understanding the depths of it, because... A lot of b-boys get into breaking because of their rage and their pain or whatever and not realizing that when you get to a certain point and you're still battling someone you're still repurposing uh, that anger and rage onto someone else so i was actually damaging myself like as oh. myself i was actually damaging my body i'm like yo like i'm angry i'm mad so i'm gonna just beat myself up i'm gonna just hurt myself catch myself you know what just to get o's but then i realized I'm like, Yo, I am not honoring myself. I'm actually damaging myself for someone else that's wounded too. And so mm -hmm. I started to change my practice and got into yoga and said, you know what? Instead of damaging myself, I want to heal myself through movement, healing, healing my movement. So now everything is oh. even more. Okay. It's conscious movement, not just like I'm going to just do hand hop, jump on my head with no hands and just do a uh, head back up in a concrete and just hurt myself for some O's. Okay. Nah, bro. Like, everything's intelligent now. It's conscious. Like, everything should be conscious because we're conscious beings, bro. Like, we can create a concept of a move, but, but, but like, why are we not going beyond it? Oh, is that move going to damage me or is it going to heal me? I'm just going in just deeper levels of the movement practice. Bro, there's so, like, so many layers to it. And so, Sab Yoga is more about 
I'm healing myself. And so if, if I'm healing myself through my movement, then I can heal others because people tell me all the time now, since I've done my healing, people are like, wow, when I see you move and when you break, sometimes I feel like a sense of Zen when you're moving. It's because they feel that, because they feel the frequency of my healing. Now my intention is to heal myself. Therefore I'm healing you. It's a frequency vibration that you're feeling versus someone that's angry and mad. Oh yeah, I'm going to smoke this dude. So energy, energy doesn't lie. It just transfers. So now my intention is about healing, 100% healing, healing myself. I love it. Though. I love it. Hey, tell us I want to hit you with one more question because I know we, we've been going on an hour. Is that cool? Oh, oh please. Bro, we have so many questions. Uh, huh? Uh, people are asking questions. Someone that's so true. What are your healing? No. Um, just to say, healing tools would be meditation, yoga, eating right, the intention of like really focusing on loving yourself. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say for all the dancers that are here, that are listening, that are tuning in, focus on loving yourself. Because I knew that I was not loving myself, not honoring myself at all, and didn't know it. I was like, yo, I don't love my. I had no idea that I wasn't doing it. So honoring myself, that means taking care of yourself, honoring yourself, talking nice to yourself, being okay with yourself, not pushing yourself too hard. All those things yeah. are super important because the body stores information and, 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 and trauma. So learn to have a relationship with yourself and be mm. honest. Focus on healing from inside. Be nice. Like, be your own best friend. So that's the answer to that. Uh, that's so true. Be your own best bro, friend. Be your <laughs> own best friend. Yeah. Uh, or that negative mentality fuel us or motivate us even those toxic. Yes, man. It's about being conscious of everything, bro. Conscious of everything. Uh, so, Mikey, I see. I'm sorry. What was your question? Okay. So, my question is, and I want everybody to put on their seatbelts because you see Dream Champs, right? And after listening to the interview with Crazy Legs, we talked a little bit in the car, and I wanted to ask you. He talked about, like, since the Olympics, is breaking is going to Olympics, there is not one hip-hop organization that's sponsoring or actually, like, putting money behind it. And why is that? But everybody's hip-hop. But everybody's hip-hop right now. I mean, I'm going to be honest and transparent, and, and this is coming out of tough love because I love the culture and those that paved the way that, you know, contributed. But again, it's going to come down to a person or persons that are not um, matured in different departments of their life, which is business, which is marketing, which is uh, working on themselves. Because at the end of the day, we've gotten to, <laughs> like we're here now, still breaking. And why are there no unions? Why are there no, <laughs> no leadership in breaking where, like, where's the integrity? And what I feel like there's a lot of shady, there's a lot of dark stuff that's just swept on the rug. And we kind of, a lot of people just, they get the cosign because of who they are. But like, bro, like, we got to be honest with ourselves. Like, we have to, like, evolve and mature as intellectuals and, and human beings, bro. It's like, we have to evolve mentally, physically, and spiritually. We have to be honest with ourselves. And be like, well, back in my time, because of who I am, I'm just, I'm just dope, and and it should be given to me. No, bro. Mm -hmm. time is changing, and and we have to upgrade, bro. Like we have to upgrade, like I said, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And I know it's not easy, but for me to like create my own brand and to inspire others, I have to work on myself. Yeah. And and and. and it has to come from a genuine place, like genuine, like, and like, that means, okay, I got to do myself work because how can I lead others if I can't lead myself? Like, mm. I'm not going to blame someone else for my downfalls. Mm. You was accountable and responsible and like have your game so on point, you would have the funding available to sponsor whatever you want. And you know what I'm yeah. saying? So every comes down to like leadership and like operating so I'm into personal uh, development listening to like you know the greats and like motivational speakers 
a mm -hmm. podcast. I'm doing my own self work. I'm doing healing ceremonies. I'm doing the plant medicine. I'm I'm like calling myself accountable. I'm mentoring. I'm being mentored. I'm always a student, never a master. Bro, it's about us being really responsible and not just only being dope on the dance floor, but like let's be dope as human beings advanced human beings because hip-hop and the dance form itself is so advanced but but the minds of the of the dancers i'm sorry to say but sometimes they're still like kids bro like we have to like mature as adults and intellectuals with the movement and the dance put them all together bro so there should have been programs available for like why why is there no union and breaking right how come the ogs aren't getting pension you know, for what they contributed. And and then, and then you know, what is this whole thing about, oh, yeah, the next generation is dope. Yeah, next generation, dope, kids, kids, whatever, kids. But, bro, like, we're still here now. Like, <laughs> we're still just as relevant. So we should be getting yeah. our too, bro. Like, oh, I'm, like, 40 plus, so I should just be in a corner and just die and just be forgotten about? No, bro. Like, everyone yeah. should be praised. Everyone should be given their flowers when they deserve it on the dance floor or whatever. Like, bro, like, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Like, I'm going to be breaking till 90. Like, I'm going to stop. And so, again, it's about, like, we need to just really, um, like, advance our mindset. Like, we have to just on up. It. Bro, we have to. And bro, where's Hip Hop 2.0 at? Where's Hip Hop 2.0? Like, why are breakers dancing to, like, mumble rap, bro? I'm sorry, but why, like, why, why, I can't stand why that. Type on mumble, like, listen to it. It's mumble rap. It's not even <laughs> conscious. <laughs> and then, <laughs> what they're listening to. That's what vibration I'm saying. Vibration is this slow, bro, when I listen to it. When I listen to it, my vibration go like this. Bro, and you know what? It's not me hating on that, but it's like, Neither. if you're a conscious individual, then you'll be conscious. And you understand that music is not conscious at all. And there's a reason why that music is being pushed, because there's an agenda behind it. So tell them why. Tell them. Tell them. You us, know why. Tell them right now. Us as thought leaders have to be our own leaders, our own government. Like, we have to be our own leaders, bro. That, like, that means self-accountability. That means if something doesn't feel right, then you got to act on it, bro. Like, if it's not right, then don't do it. And so the golden era of like hip hop, it was about consciousness. All it was about consciousness. It was about consciousness. Early nineties golden era. It was about this. Now people can't even compose sentences. Now you don't understand what they're, they're saying. You don't even understand what they're saying. And so what's going to happen to the next generation of kids that are looking up to these rappers? That's what I'm saying, bro. Hip hop is a technology, and and the whole 360 model needs to be cultivated. The oh. whole model needs to be cultivated. The DJing, the MCing, the beatboxing, the knowledge, the graffiti, all of it has to be cultivated, and it has to be reinforced that this is a knowledge for us that's been passed down to us. It's a technology for us to advance as to advance as humanity, bro. Hip hop is the only tech that does that. It's the only knowledge that brings everyone together that everyone can like understand. And guess what? It's dope. Hip hop is dope. Like the tech, like the B-boy and MC. I think that's why it's always, that's why it's always gonna be number one. It's always gonna be number one, but it's up to us to like, you know. To you be know, number one with it. Force it. To be number one with it. <laughs> to be number one with it and to cultivate it, like, and to cultivate it. This is why it's our responsibility to not give so much praise to AI or to the computer or to a celebrity. No, what about us? Give it to what yourself. Yeah, give it to yourself. Selves, bro. That means being self-accountable, self-loving, self-upgrade. This is what I'm constantly working on myself. I'm far from perfect, and you know what? Not praising I am, but I am always working on myself because I know there's deeper layers, uh, uh, layers that need to be addressed, and I can't truly lead others until I lead myself. Like, mm -hmm. I can't be a leader for someone else. You know what? People tell me, so, yo, you're an amazing leader. You're amazing. Well, I said, yes, thank you so much, but I'm still working on myself. Always a student, never a master. So I'm going to bring my people to the same frequency. 
know what I'm saying? And like, like, I like that. Like, it, it's our job. Like, what you're doing by doing this, taking your time out, getting people to talk about their passions and their pains or whatever about dancing. But this is important right here. But we have to. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, shout, no, it's all good. We can't though. even remember where we put our car keys. We need to take social media breaks for real. Yes. Yes, thank you for saying the shock, Louis. And you know what? Another thing for healing too is go to nature, go check in with nature, check, like check in with yourself. I mean, that means taking time away from whatever it is, but sit with yourself. And you know what? A lot of people can't sit with themselves without distractions because it's not easy to face yourself. Trust me, I know it was hard for me to face myself and my darkness and my demons. It was not easy facing. So my on the phone, it can't take time to think because the phone just keep going off too much, bro. And you know, what? it's there for a reason, it's by grand design, it's by grand design. So, this is what I'm saying when you're conscious, you're understanding the deep was to everything, not just in the dance floor or who, or you know, who did what, or like who's biting who, but about what is, what is our role in um, upgrading humanity as a collective. Like, what are we doing, bro? We're not just dancers, bro. Thank you, Tails, though, We're brother. Like gods, bro. We because God created us. We 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 are of God. So yes, we are essentially great gods. God's work, bro. We're God's work. Thank you, Tails, for that, though, brother, man. Um, I know with this conversation, though, real we you could go three hours and longer. We, but I just think the things that you share. Within this hour was everything that I wanted. Like for me, I think me and you've done at least like three different um, interviews, but I, I think this one for this one right here particularly hits me the hits me the hardest. It hits me dead center, like right on my chest where I'm gonna go when I get off the phone. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go spend some time with myself, though, bro. <laughs> bro, if you gotta like cry, if you gotta yell, you gotta scream, you gotta yeah. punch a bag. Bro, you need to get it out, bro. Like, dancing is great, but, like, don't. And, and you know, another thing mm -hmm. that I want to you know, a lot of amazing dancers and artists that are getting and, like, developing cancers. And I, I'm going to say the reason why this is happening, of course, it could be, you know, in the genetics, but the most important thing, the uh, reason why they're doing, why they're developing these cancers is because they're holding on to things that they need to let go of. That means whatever beef it is, whatever anger or rage with your ex, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your mother, your father, you need to let go of it because it is going to affect your health in the future, bro. Whatever you're holding on to, pain-wise, trauma-wise, let it go, move forward, focus on love and, and, mm. and forgiveness for yourself and the other person. This is why I want to share. Thank you. Thank you, though. So I was going to ask you, man, if you can just leave us like with some positive, if you want to leave us with one more encouraging, you know, um, comment, you know, for the people that's watching, because I know we got a good amount of people that's going to watch this after, like before we go, like what else would you have to say to everybody? I would say the most important thing is focus on your self-love, love others, focus on upgrading in uh, all departments of your life, man. Just this. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade in the mind, though, right? Upgrade yourself, upgrade your body. Um, always work on yourself. Always work, mm -hmm. on, work on yourself. And and you know what? Be your own leader, too. Be your own leader. Lead yourself. Yeah. You know, we need and I wanna, more the followers, bro. Right. And I want to say that, too, with that being said, though, like, anything you believe in, do it. Just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, I read. 2.2 million um, likes on the video. Like, never in my life that I've ever achieved anything that got to the million. And I knew that I could do wow. it. I knew I could do it. And I See, did it. I, I, finally, I finally got to the matrix, though, though, bro. The, the highest, the most views I ever got on anything was 12,000 likes. Oh, that's amazing. You, you, what? what? Million? Million views? 2.2 million. Bro, that's amazing. That's amazing, bro. Like, imagine what yeah. else is... And see, it's yeah. all... Hot. 
it's a thought, bro. Like we gotta it's like how powerful our minds are. Like they're using our minds against us to like focus on <laughs> mundane, primitive things, bro. And this is why. Yeah, like all the dumbest shit, all the excuse me, but all the gay shit ever, like all the demonic shit, all the process shit is like. Every time I turn on my phone and go to YouTube, I see all those demonic in videos coming up, like in my feeds. I'm like, bro, you like, know I don't want to know how many about the devil. The devil's coming. The devil and like Jay Z is like it's too much. You know why they're doing it? Because I know why they're doing it. They're 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 doing it because their time is running out. Because they know that humanity is either going to wake up or like fall towards it. But I think it's working against them because now. It's forcing people to wake up. Like, why are they pushing this narrative so hard? Why are they pushing negativity so hard? There must be some some kind of love and like positivity in the world. So why are they pushing this so hard? Like, it's gonna force you to wake up. Like, it's, I mean, some will say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a a bot and drone and zombie and just be okay with it." And you know what? It's okay. It's their purpose. It's their path. But the ones that know. Like they're gonna wake up and be like, okay, I see what's happening right now. I see it. I understand yeah. it. It's gonna make, make me want to upgrade myself. And that's and that's and that's what I feel. Instead of like feeling like like low about it, it makes me think I need to upgrade my shit though, because I don't want those frequencies like trying to tap into my mind at night before I go to bed. Like I don't want that in my subconscious that evil's like ruling the world. And bro, they put it. Um, this is why they put it on the film and media because it's all subconscious. It's all mm -hmm. uh, subliminal programming. They put it in the background, so it's always in your head. Bro, but you know what? Why they're not pushing positivity, love, upgrade, health, um, positivity, like enthusiasm, growth, like love, compassion? Why? They're not pushing that. And it's yeah. for a reason. Yeah, is there, like, is there, you know, it's 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 for us to to wake up. That's mm -hmm. what it's there for. That definitely tells though. Thank you, brother, from my heart. Oh, I know me and you can do a, we can do another conversation like always game, bro. A month from now, two weeks from now, next week, whenever you feel, because I know people are gonna to look at this video and i know the ones that, that want to get it they're going to get it and the people that are just going to scroll past are going to be like oh it's just mike the ice again it's like bro you understand like those are diamonds right there like this interview is diamonds Thanks. for the culture like i put them we put them in the ground now it's up for you guys to find them absolutely brother and thanks for what you're doing man i commend you and your work you're doing it bro like no one's paying you to do it and you love it and you have so much passion, uh, you know, so much passion for the culture. Man, just, bro, keep doing you too, bro. And we give you your flowers, bro. Like, always respect. All right. Yeah. 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 All right, tell us. Thank you, though, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you all, you know, for tuning in, all the beautiful comments. Keep on uh, supporting Mikey, you know, what he's doing. So, yeah, blessings to all. All right, brother. Peace. All right, brother. Peace.